there's a passage in the scripture where they're talking about the early Christian community living together, sharing everything, and they were of one heart and one soul. It really describes the ideal community of faith. As the bishop of the diocese, that's what you work for. You try to make the community unified and where people care for one another. No one's forgotten, no one's left out, everybody is valued, every life is valued. It describes the kind of community that we really are trying to build. This campaign is about making the diocese thrive. Strong parishes, strong dioceses. The parish is our home. It's where we gather together. A community of faith, a family of families from all walks of life, brought together by a common faith, a common mission, a common parish home. Parish life, when it's done properly, is about being a family. We have a priest who's the father, and we have all these people who are brothers and sisters of the Lord. When do we end up running off the circuit in life is when we fall away from our families and we think, I can do this on my own, I don't need anybody else. And it's the same in the church in our faith. When we, when we turn away from our faith family, our church family, that's when we end up in trouble as well. And our home is always here for us in times of joy and celebration, in times of sadness and sorrow. Whatever life brings us, we gather here. When both of my parents passed away, the way the community came together to support us, family and friends, the great gift of a funeral mass, the gift of those prayers, and in the way in which people stood with us and prayed for us and supported us during a very difficult time that uh, we were reminded that our family was much larger than our biological family or biological ties, that God's family transcends all blood barriers. And it was nice to know that we had a larger family of faith that supported us during that time. Parish life for me is like the family getting together every Sunday to celebrate the Supper of our Lord. Then we all meet with our Father in the Eucharist. And there's something special about it that unite us all. It's got to be God putting all his children together. The parish is the presence of the church living in our midst. It is our window into the divine, the place where the people of God meet Jesus in word and sacrament, invited to touch and taste and see the very source of the church's life. You know, the sacraments are a real moment of connection for us, a profound moment of connection with the grace of Almighty God. For some families, it's actually a moment of reconnection with the Church. Preparing for sacraments is less about whatever book we use or video series, however good it is. It's really about opening people up to reminding them what their baptism was all about. When they understand that as the body of Christ, we are not whole and we are not at our best until all the members are with us. Recognizing the profound importance of the parish and our life of faith, the Diocese of Hamilton is undertaking an unprecedented $35 million campaign to renew and transform every parish in the diocese. To be an engaged leader, one has to first be listening to the people. That uh, What do the people crave for? What do they need? Where do they need? support, where do they need encouragement, but also that willingness to, to put yourself out there, that it's not, it's not my parish, I have to let go of that sense that I'm the boss, even though I am the boss, I have to let go of that in order to be able to know what the people really need, because that's where you become engaged, is meeting the needs of the people. The One Heart, One Soul campaign will give every parish in the diocese the opportunity to identify and undertake the initiatives of parish renewal most important in their own community. At least 75% of funds raised in each parish will be dedicated to projects identified by the parish community. Uh, we just redid the lights in our church and we put it out there one Sunday and within a very short period of time, we raised the money we needed to change the lights. You know? People get behind you on a project, you're all moving together in the same direction. That's rewarding. You see the excitement of the people, they are all with you and moving together in the same direction. 
In addition to accomplishing each parish's own initiatives, the campaign will provide even further support to parishes in need, with 10% of funds raised, $3.5 million, dedicated to building up those parishes most in need. Finally, 15% of campaign funds will support shared ministries, including our ministry on university campuses across the diocese. From Newman's perspective, it should be about forming our young people in a balanced way. Just having a place, like a physical place for them to come to and be together, it's really important, you know, in terms of having a community for them. And so many of them speak of the Newman Center as a place they can come and speak freely about their faith and share their questions and challenge one another and, and grow in their faith here. As much as having a student center is great, when students leave here, they're going to go to parishes. So we need to keep making sure that the students have those connections to parish life. The statistics show that students, even if they are involved in their youth ministry when they're in high school or involved in their faith or come from a Catholic home, over half of them don't continue in their faith in university unless they're involved in some sort of campus ministry. They get lost in, in our culture and if they're not connected to a campus ministry, they will lose their faith, sadly, for the most part. And so campus ministry has to be at every university so that students can find a community that shares the values with them and helps walk with them into a deeper life of faith. Here at, at Canadian Martyrs at McMaster, we're really trying to, to form the parish around the idea of, of being that home uh, for everyone uh, to come to. I think the most challenging aspect is really just to, to be there with them in, in all kinds of different circumstances over their lives as they're away from home for the first time, as they're settling into a new routine of university life, as they go on in the years and they're asking hard questions. Hospital ministry will also benefit from a share of campaign funds. I think spiritual care is really important. When a person comes to the hospital, they are very vulnerable. A lot of focus in hospital is on the body. And we know that people need to remain connected to that part of themselves, that deepest part of themselves, which is human, and not an illness, not a disease. The campaign will also increase our presence to those in great need enhancing our ministry in prisons, as well as our outreach to migrant workers who spent parts of the year in our diocese. We can look to what Jesus said. He said to visit the prisoners. It was important to him. When you think of Pope Francis, he's probably one of the most busy men in the world. And what does he do? He gets on a long distance phone call to his home diocese, to the penitentiary where he did prison ministry, and he talks to the prisoners. It is a very important ministry and it needs to be supported. One of the interesting things about ministry to migrant workers is that there's a wealth of opportunity. Right now, it's very much a bit of a hidden issue. It really touches every level of the church and of our community. It touches all of us. We all eat produce that have been produced on these farms by these men and women. What we are working to do here in the Diocese of Hamilton is formalize a little bit more of a structure around how we intend to serve this community. With every parish in the diocese strengthened, and with a renewed focus on reaching out beyond our parishes, this campaign will transform how our faith is lived and shared. The fundraising helps, but it's more than fundraising. It is getting involved, leaning in. I like that little phrase. When things are difficult, you know, a lot of people think, I'm going to quit. Well, it isn't the answer. Work together, build it up, and make it better. Join us as we make our community like the first Christian community. One heart, one soul. <laughs>